Let's draw the Lewis structure of rubidium sulfide. That's RB2S. Rubidium is an alkali metal. Sulfur is a non-metal. It comes from the top right corner of where the staircase is on a periodic table. When you have metals and non-metals bonding together, it becomes an ionic compound. There is a transfer of electrons from the metals to the non-metals. Now I'm gonna show you how exactly that happens because that's what you came for. Rubidium in group one brings a single valence electron with it. So I'm gonna draw that out for you. Sulfur, a non-metal in group 16, brings six valence electrons with it. Sulfur, one, two, three, four, five, six. And like I said, metals plus non-metals, the metal is going to give its electrons away to complete the octet on the non-metals. Sulfur has six electrons, wants eight. That's what the octet rule is. So this rubidium atom says, hey, you can take mine. Now you have seven. Where is sulfur going to get an eighth electron from? This is where you use your magic and just appear another rubidium here. That rubidium gives its electron away to sulfur. And now sulfur has eight electrons total. The fact that you need two rubidiums to complete the octet of sulfur, because each rubidium is only giving away one electron each, is the reason the formula is RB2S. You need two of these to cancel charges with the sulfur. Let's draw that out. The sulfur had six electrons of its own, but now it has one and one, eight electrons total. Put it in square brackets because it now has more electrons than it started with. That's a total charge of minus two for two extra electrons. The rubidiums, on the other hand, have given away an electron each. I want you to draw them here without dots, put them in square brackets, and they have a plus one charge because they gave away a negative. Losing a negative makes it positive. And then I want you to do it again on the other side because, well, there were two of them, right? So draw it twice. Don't be lazy. Be a hero. I knew you were a hero the minute you clicked this video. Here's your final Lewis structure, just like you asked for. And best of luck.